Android TV is arguably one of Google's best kept secrets in a lot of ways. It's the powerhouse for untold smart TVs, projectors and home theater setups all over the globe. And Google really doesn't shout about it enough for our liking. With a few Android TV apps though, it can be even better. So here's a few of our favorites. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. There aren't really too many browsers that work well with Android TV, especially when using a remote or even your phone as a remote. TV Bro is actually our top fit pick for that reason, as it doesn't require a mouse keyboard or any other peripherals to work properly with your TV. Save your remote, that is. Sure, it's definitely not the most attractive. It's not quite Chrome, but it's purely functional and the UI is basic at best. Those complaints aside, it's the best way to browse the web on a large screen device with a remote such as your TV or even a projector. The inbuilt cursor support is so much more helpful than wildly tapping around or scrolling around trying to get interfaces which are made for point and click devices working correctly on a big display. The quick links are also a nice option and you can easily get to common pages or even set a home screen for faster navigation. It's definitely one to look at if you want to browse the web from your TV. In conjunction with a good file management application, you should definitely take a look at Send Files to TV. And this app is an absolute godsend when you want to send and receive files between your Android TV devices and your smartphone or even a tablet. Normally, it's quite a laborious process that may even require cables and USB drives or SD cards even to get a file from your phone right there on your TV. The Send Files to TV application, though, uses your local network to connect directly to your phone and with that TV that you have in your home and bypass the frustration of cables and therefore confusion. You can share a multitude of file types, which is why it's really useful for everybody out there and we think you should look at. If you want to do things like sideload applications, then grabbing an APK file from your phone and sending this over might work for this easy to grasp system. And it's one of the main use cases we think you will really enjoy. It also helps that the interface is really, really basic and super easy to grasp with just two options to send and receive. Cord cutting is definitely getting harder and harder with way too many competing services offering various plans and subscriptions and locking content behind those. Knowing where to watch something is really like navigating a maze at times. And this is where Streamio or Stream.io, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, is a useful option as a basic media center that helps you find, manage and stream content from various services. Previews and trailers are linked with episode synopses. And also this just helps you pick the right thing to watch on a day to day basis when we are in a sea of streaming options. The add on tool even lets you access a greater array of services and introduces new functions like IPTV plugins and much more on top. The sky is a limit with Stream.io or Streamio, and it's one we should definitely take a look towards. So you can't natively share your iPhone screen on Android TV, but not everyone has an Android phone and that's okay because of applications like AirScreen. This application lets you cast iOS device screens and screen mirror to your Android TV hardware. AirScreen works by opening up the AirPlay functionality for iOS and even macOS hardware on your Android TV devices. And this means you can screen mirror almost natively without needing an Apple TV set top box in your home. This solution means that you genuinely only need to install AirScreen on your Android TV device. It doesn't need to be installed anywhere else. And we know that iPhone users don't really like downloading apps to add useful functions. So it's definitely nice that you don't need to install or open another app on your iOS devices. There's things like support for 4K UHD video, which is yet another bonus as you can't actually enjoy content natively on iPhone hardware and iPads out there, but it's one for those people out there who are entrenched in the iOS and macOS ecosystems. Ads and product placement might ruin native Android TV experiences for you, but on a regular smartphone, this isn't much of a problem. But with Google TV specifically, there are sometimes annoying banners showing content and services you may never intend to subscribe to. F Launcher is one to try out if you want an open source alternative launcher for Android TV that offers a reprieve on certain devices out there. The reason why we think you should take a look at this is because it's clean, it's simple, and it uses a familiar tile layout for any of your on-device installed applications. 
You can even do things like in change the on device wallpaper like you can on your phone and even create basic categories to sort out your home screen so you can navigate even faster. It's a simple app that we think is perfect for most people that are sick of the existing UIs you see on a lot of Android TV devices out there. While we didn't want to recommend a streaming platform, we'll make one specific exception for Pluto TV, as this is one of the biggest and best free TV and movie streaming services that we think you should definitely give a trial if it's available in your region. The app works on Android and Android TV, with hundreds of live broadcasting channels showing classic content from CSI to Mad Men. Each channel broadcasts live, but like a DVR, you can actually return to the start and watch at your own pace if you wish. It's like the best hybrid of TV and streaming, plus it's completely free and 100% legal. For families of young children, the kids' channels are actually perfect. If you just leave it on in the background too, you know you've got safe content all day, just like you would on a regular kids' TV channel. Ordinarily, we'd actually recommend VLC as the toolkit media player, but it wouldn't be fair to MX Player, as we think this is a perfect alternative and one that plays almost every file format you can throw at it without issues. When a video is playing, I have to say the interface is marginally more attractive, plus the performance is on par with VLC. Either option is great, but MX Player is a op great optional alternative for all media types and those people who want to play all kinds of stuff on your devices. Button Mapper is a must have for Android TV, especially if you want to tune your remote to work however you want it to. It's a great option as it lets you adjust what each button on your physical remote can do, and it even lets you disable certain keys if you need it. By adding the ability to double and long press specific buttons, you can actually do much more than even basic or limited remotes might be capable of right out of the box. A one-time fee does unlock some more options and customization controls, but it's worth every penny if, like me, you're frustrated with the Google TV remote specifically. One of the only ways now to play AAA titles on your big screen without a console or plugging your PC in, is, especially now that Stadia has bitten the dust, is via cloud gaming services like Nvidia GeForce Now. This is technically a paid for service that lets you stream high-end games up to 4K resolution using RTX series graphics cards, all from the cloud. You can play a wealth of your existing games on Steam, Epic Games, and even the Ubisoft Plus subscription. There's a free account though here that lets you access a basic rig, although we're not sure what that constitutes, from the cloud and play for up to one hour per session. And that makes this a super seamless way of turning your TV into a console quality gaming experience, but with over 1000 PC titles that you can play right there, right now in your living room. If you don't have the connection speed to stream games from the cloud, then how about classic console and arcade games? Well, RetroArch gives you the tools to play some of your favorite titles from yesteryear. Basically, it bundles in popular emulators into one easy to access and completely free package, we might add. You can even run things like PS2 titles, provided your Android TV set-top box or smart TV has the processing power to run these early 2000s titles. Because you can emulate hundreds of platforms, all you need is the ROM files to get started. For a quick way to roll back the years, it's definitely a must-have Android TV app for any system. Plus, it all works perfectly with all kinds of Bluetooth controllers and wired gamepads for the authentic experience in your living room. Android TV offers a wealth of applications and services that you can download and install to maximize the power of your home entertainment system. And that makes it hard to cover just about everything there is out there. But that's 10 of our favorites. I want to ask you though, do you have any apps that you simply cannot live without? Let's try and stay away or steer clear of streaming services as they are a little bit basic. But let us know down in the comment sections below. Until next time though, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.